Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Granger with Nutritional Wellness and Chiropractic here in Clearwater, Florida. I want to explain to you why you may be having trouble with your digestion, with your stomach and your intestinal area. Maybe you're getting bloating, a feeling of fullness, maybe slow digestion. Maybe your energy is low or you're getting some brain fog. So here's some reasons why that may be happening. We're going to talk about something called gluten. Now, you've probably heard of gluten before, so let me give you a little more information about it. Gluten is actually one of many proteins found in many foods, and there's actually a broader category of these proteins, and this is called lectins. So gluten is just one of many lectins, and a lectin is a protein found in many foods which may have a toxic effect, may cause inflammation, and may cause leaky gut. So gluten is one of many lectins. So for example, if you've got a food that says gluten-free, it still may have other lectins in it. It still may give you problems. So that's one of the first things I want you to remember is that even though it says gluten-free, you have to look at the food and think, well, does this have other lectins that may be causing inflammation, bloating, and leaky gut? Gluten and lectins can play a part in many conditions. Let's say a person has a autoimmune condition like rheumatoid arthritis. It could be one of the triggers or, or one of the issues involved in a problem like that. Any type of inflammatory condition, like an arthritis, uh, it can play a part in food sensitivities. You may have heard the term leaky gut. Let me explain that a little bit. If your intestines are in, involved in absorbing food, in the food that's digested in the stomach, it's absorbed in the intestines into your body, the intestine lining has to be very specific about the foods and how it absorbs them. If the lectins or the gluten is damaging or causing some inflammation and damage to the lining of the intestines, it may cause openings larger than normal in the gut intestinal lining. Gluten and lectins interfere with nutritional absorption. These are called anti-nutrients because they actually reverse the role, the job that nutrients do. Some of the things that it may inhibit the absorption of is calcium, iron, phosphorus, and zinc. So when we have these large openings in the intestine, it may allow the passage of foods that should not be in the bloodstream, and then it's gonna interact with your immune system, could even create antibodies against the food, and that is one of the things that could be causing food sensitivity. Now, it's good to know that most glutens and lectins are gonna be inactivated by cooking them enough, or by fermentation. For example, one of the issues is a gluten or a lectin type of reaction with pasteurized milk. But if you take milk and you ferment it into cheese, a lot of times that's gonna be far less of a problem. So here's some of the foods that contain a lot of lectins. Beans, especially soybeans. Corn, oats, peanuts, tomatoes, potatoes, now, soybeans and, uh, well, any food, but soybeans is one of the many that if they're not cooked or fermented, they can cause a lot of problems with the digestive system. And any food that you buy might be contaminated with glyphosate. Glyphosate is an herbicide that is sprayed on many foods, and, and some people in the farming industry consider it safe but we don't think it's safe. We think it's toxic. 
So we have to uh, always be on the lookout and it's always best to, to buy organic, which means hopefully <laughs> free of toxins. So a lot of my patients say, well, gosh, I'm so confused about what to eat. So I want to help you all with determining easily what to eat and what not to eat. I've actually put together a pamphlet that's called Foods to Eat and Not to Eat that I would like for all of you to have. So if you would like to have one of these pamphlets, simply go to my website, and I'm going to put a link in this video. Go to the website and request a copy of this, and we'll be sure that we get that to you.